Hopefully. This is recording now. Yes, I look like I've just been... Every time I start recording, this thing just kicks off. It, it, it really is a noisy little bugger. Thankfully, he has an off button. Uh, unlike that one behind me, uh, but but he never kicks off. He's old now. He, he just he just sits there and chills. Uh, hi guys, Todd here. Vlog time. Hopefully, uh, the fact that I look like I've just been dragged through a hedge backwards does not put you off, uh, because it is. It's rather wet outside, uh, and I've just been out for a walk with him. He's been dried off. Uh, me, meanwhile, I possibly look just the same as I always do. Also, I have just wasted... Um... <laughs> Can you? Is, is the audio any better? Um, now, I, I have a, a Blue Yeti on a boom here uh, that I've used... I used to use for reviews, but I have a different microphone for reviews. When I go live, I use this Blue Yeti, but it's always just been sat in a corner gathering dust, and I've just assumed that, yeah, it sounds okay. And then for some reason, I actually watched one of these lazy vlogs uh, that I do like this, and noticed that it sounded like I was talking to you from inside a can. Uh, so I thought I should do something about it, and basically I've got, in, in true me style, I got a big hammer, 10 inch nails, and a knife and and bodged something so it's it's the levels look good on the the, the do da do hickey thing here so hopefully you're hearing my dulcet tones crystal clear um and the big screwdriver not for screwing but just for for hitting uh right <coughs> what's going on uh vape wise Vape wise today, today I'm, I'm vaping, well, I'm, I'm actually vaping away, I've got three things in the go here. Um, Delro, uh, Delro, uh, this is the, the die codes one I'm vaping with today. Uh, I will say, and I should make this clear, uh, when I did the review for this, the snail, uh, the vape snail, which is awesome, it's really, really good. Uh, it's one thing I never mentioned, but I did post in the relevant Facebook groups that where people own this device. Uh, if you're vaping mouth to lung with the snail, then you'll not have any problems with the, the stock doors uh, here. If, however, you like direct lung, then you will have an issue. Now, the people behind, uh, the gorgeous people behind um, this device and the device inside are talking to one another so hopefully there will be a, an updated door or an up, some kind of update coming down the line uh, because I've modified my door so I'm getting more air through it than I was before but that's without you hear how much it's and that's it been tweaked before I was getting next to nothing come through works fine mouth to lung but if you got the snail with the Delro and you were looking to do direct lung, you'll have an issue. There should be updates. There should be updates. If there's not, uh, then uh, I'll be hugely disappointed because when you take a Greek... No, I better not say that. I'll get into trouble. Uh, other things I'm vaping with today. My dingo. I've got my dingo on the go again with the, the comfiest place to put your pinky when you're firing. Uh do love my dingo from uh, Phil uh, down under and uh, I've got the Riviera on top and great vape 21700 battery in this thing and uh, I've got the lost vape bottle in it which is 8, 10, 8 mil possibly um, the, and obviously Riviera by Stephen uh, Two people from Australia that I, I love to bits. Such nice people. Uh, really are nice people. Uh, I've also got to date... Now, I have to actually fill this up. But what I'm also vaping in is I've got my K65 from Osrix Creations that I'm vaping away with. 
serial number Bob, um, or 808. Uh, on top of that, I, I went out and I bought myself a dwarf direct lung again. Yeah, I bought myself a dwarf direct lung. Um, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's actually been, if I go, let's, let's just uh, push buttons here. Uh, now I can't see the screen because I've got my microphone in the way now. <sighs> idiot. Absolute idiot. Um, there we go. The 19th of October 2017 uh, was when I recorded that video. That was the last time I recorded, or that's when I got the Dwarf the Right Lung. That was, it had just been released. Um, God, and it's still going strong. Uh, now, as I said, uh, and I did say this about um, the 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 dwar the the KHW mods, tanks, drippers, Jordan, the mouth to lung, all that kind of stuff. Sorry, I'm looking for juice here. Uh, what can I use today? I'll, I'll try some. Going for some Primus. I was going to put in a plug for Vapors Bay there, but. Um, They've, they've, they've not been nice to me. Uh, they've, they've been very nasty to me. So, no, but you can buy this just from Vapors Bay. That's where I bought I bought this juice. That's where I bought it from. Uh, just fill that up. I really am off on a tangent today. I'm sorry. Uh, there's no timestamps. There's no there's no uh, rhyme or reason going into this video. Um, <laughs> I'm just waffling, as usual. Um Right, so the Dwarf Direct Lung. Now, now, what I said about KHW mods was that whilst all their artists and all their RDAs and RTAs flavour-wise, vape-wise, were superb. They really are that. They are superb. Uh, they, they just aesthetically didn't do it for me. And I found the build deck whilst it works. You can't take that, take that away. It works. Um, just didn't really click with me. And that's why I never kept them. Um, and the, but they just took off. I mean, they just they went skyrocketed, and people just so many people still use these uh, because they are fantastic. This is a direct long one, and that's a zero point four ohm coil from PC coils. And, and it's just tremendous in there. I absolutely love this. It, it's the, the strange thing is that I paid uh, 50 pounds for this second hand and I got an Ultim tank with it as well. I'm now going to go and spend 45 pounds on the Steam Tuners um, top fill tank for it. You get a top fill tank, which is uh, going to cost me just about the same as I paid for the thing in the first place. Uh, but that's what I've been vaping away with and shall continue to vape with during this little vlog. Uh, my, um, can I do something to stop this uh, camera control? Focus, we'll just set the focus. And hopefully it will stop doing that in and out thing. It's like rave. Uh, okay, things that may interest you or may not interest you. This should be a short vlog uh, because I, I don't have anything for you. Review wise, uh, the only thing I'm testing just now that I can tell you about is the Vampire Eos by Oxygen Mods. Thank you again, Serge, for sending this on. I will get a review out this week for this thing. Uh, it's it's one of these ones, there's a, like, a a cult, almost like a, a, a cult following for it. There's lots of people that it's all they have. They swear by it and they don't use anything else because they think it's the bee's knees. Um, and, and that happens with a lot of devices. Uh, you know, people won't use something else. They just, they find what they want to vape with. The flavor from it is tremendous. Uh, it's mouth to lung or restricted direct lung. I think it's a two mil ear hole. It's most open. It's an RDTA. I have the EOS, which you can squonk with, um, but uh, it, it, it's just, it's kind of old school. 
I mean, it's been out for some time. It has been out for some time. It's nothing new. Uh, they are not made very often because I'll cover out all that in the review. But uh, if you can track one down and you like mouth to lung, restricted direct lung, I would almost say it, it works so well with fruits. It really does. Uh, but yes, I'll save all that for the review. Shut up, Todd. Get a move on. Uh, other things I want to mention that uh, I, I have nothing else up there to review. Nothing. Um, what Basically what happens is at this time of year, uh, late February, March, I tend to find that um, things go quiet because this is coming. Uh, this is coming. The Hall of Vape. Um, we have, how long have we got? There we go. 80 days, 80 days to go. Um, I, I just usually find that it gets kind of quiet for me, usually about this time of year, just because the, the modders are tying anything new they're working on, they kind of keep it for the Hall of Vape. This is going to be the fifth Hall of Vape. This is their fifth anniversary. There will be uh, 67 mod maker booths. They're all full, they're all booked out. Uh, and it will be tremendous. It's it's the one thing, if you've watched my videos, my vlogs or anything like that, you know that I get kind of excited, shall we say, about the Hall of Vape coming up. Um, and I'm waiting on, uh, Ira said that he's going to have a promotion video, uh, which as soon as I get it, I'll tag it on to the end of a couple of reviews and things like that. Um, and the thing is, if you're in the U, I mean, I know I have people from around the world that watch me waffle, uh, but if you're in the UK or whatnot, then come over. Um, I mean, the flights are cheap enough uh, and the hotels are no more expensive than the UK. And it is a kick as it's the best event you'll go to. Uh, the best event you'll go to. Um, so, there we go. Um, other things I was going to mention. Womp, where is he? There he is. Uh, this fella's back. Where is he? Quieting that down. Uh, young Mr. Parker is back. Uh, Martin Parker. He's he's been gone. He's uh, he's he, he. Martin used to make me feel good about myself because many years ago I used to um, kind of um, throw my toys out the pram, say that I'm jacking it all in. I'm not doing reviews anymore, and. Um, and then two weeks later, I would be back again. Uh, the only person that did that better than me was Martin. Um, but he's been gone for a while and he's come back. He's mainly doing juice reviews just now. So um, go check his channel out, Martin Parker. Um, he, he, I see he's got reviews up for Lancashire Steam Company and Digby's. And I've not vaped any of their liquid for a long time. But, the, the, I mean, they... I'm going pre-TPD here. I mean, pre-TPD, I mean, they were big. I don't know if they still are. My apologies if you if you are just as popular. Uh, I'm talking about what I see from my wheelhouse. Uh, but their, their liquids were great. Uh, so, yes. Go check out Martin. Uh, other things, we've covered that. Uh, we're going to close that down. And, oh my God, do I want to do this. This isn't drama. This is not drama. Um, this is, this might just be something disturbing. Um, <laughs> there's Rip, uh, or Super Bloke, as his alter ego goes by. Uh, if you haven't seen it in the, the people throwing their toys out the pram or getting upset about this, Rip Trippers, Obviously, you know him. He's the, the biggest vape reviewer on the planet with over a million subscribers. Um, and he's been at this as long as I have. Uh, in fact, when Rip started, he was like me. He was just a normal bloke in his house or his whatever, just talking into the camera and doing his thing. Uh, and then he became this persona, uh, this, this character. And it took off and went crazy for him. He's a businessman. 
Yeah, is that one way of putting it? Yeah, I'm being polite here. Uh, he's, he's, he's a businessman. Uh, whereas I mostly do this for shits and giggles. What you see here is for fun. Um, what Rip does is, is he does it as a business. Or that's how I see it. I don't have any issue with that. I, I, I really don't have any issue with that. Because I know what he's doing. Uh, and I think most adults would 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 see that. Uh, they would see that. You either, when you're watching a reviewer, and this any reviewer, um, you either trust them or you don't. It's as simple as that. You either trust them or you don't. If you don't trust them, you're watching them for other reasons, uh, to be entertained, uh, for for the crack, uh, or to laugh at them. Uh, and, and he does what he does. Now, obviously, he's... I don't know if he's still doing it. I don't know if this is still a thing. Um, but he's created this other channel called Super Bloke. It's aimed at children, uh, very, very young children. And, and he's got this character. And um, people are just going a bit nuts over it because they're saying, people are saying that it's it's putting vaping in a bad light or, or he shouldn't be doing vaping reviews and doing children's stuff at the same time. Uh, it's on two separate channels, two different personalities, if you like, played by the same person. I... I personally don't see the issue with it at all i don't see an issue with it at all um if i wanted to start up a channel reviewing f films and books and stuff like that then it has no bearing in what i do here as a vape reviewer but that's just my what do you think outside everything else uh please please keep it related to the the you know the discussion uh, i really don't I don't want to know about dry knuckles. I really don't. So please don't. <laughs> oh God. So there you go. There's Rip or Super Bloke. Um, I really want to play that video, but uh, I'll better not. I better not. Uh, speaking of reviewers, uh, on a on a side note, I just want to say if you get the chance, if you get the chance, go and watch a few videos by this guy here, uh, the Critical Drinker. Uh, short and sweet version is that he is a, a film, TV reviewer and so on, or critic, played by a, a drunk Scotsman. It was my dad that uh, put me onto this guy, um, and, and I am hooked. Thank you, Dad. Uh, he, he's just... His point of view and what he's putting across are... are, are are actually, it's actually quite a clever view stance he takes on things. I do like his opinion, but the way it's very, very dry, sarcastic Scottish humour, and and he's drunk. Give it a go. The Critical Drinker. Big fan. Big fan. Um, here's something for you. Uh, well, I mean... Yes, I will mention it. Actually, I'll have a quick vape first. Excuse me. What is that camera doing? Hang on. My, 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 uh... What? Oh, there it goes again. Why, why is it doing that? Follow my face. Oh, that's what it is. Follow my face was switched on. Uh, there we go. Such a happy boy. Um, right. Haven't got a clue what I was going to talk about there. What was it? Yes. Um, I have been vocal in the past uh, about this. Uh, in that my opinion is that um, I have always maintained that uh, a reviewer reviews uh, and mod makers or e-cig companies make products hardware and so on and juice and all the rest of it um, and, and that was kind of my viewpoint uh, I don't have an issue as with most things I, I don't have an issue with what somebody does uh, it doesn't affect my life I may have a viewpoint on it but I, I don't get upset about it uh, 
and it, and, it, and it kind of became commonplace. Uh, now I, I I've worked for three four four three, about three and a half years. Let's just say uh, in the background with a lot of Chinese companies, uh, Chinese companies, um, consultation and and helping with design work on ATES and things like that. Uh, and I never wanted to go down the route of putting my name on anything because I didn't want to work with, I didn't trust anybody enough um, to put my name in something that it would be exactly bang on and I could stand by it and say, yeah, and, and other reasons, and other reasons. However, uh, right now I am working with a, a company. Um, they are not in China. It's not China. It's not any um, big um, um, e-cig manufacturer, anything like that. It's it's with a, a company that I've known for many, many years. Trust. I'll go with trust. I was going to say respect, but um, don't know about that. Uh, no, I'm only kidding. Uh, so I trust and respect them, and um, and I am not, and being completely upfront, I am not designing this myself from scratch. I am working with people, other people. Uh, there are more talented people involved with this, with the the design. Uh, I just have some input on it. Yeah, that, I'll leave it at that. Um, so that will be coming down the line. Um, and we'll see how it goes. It's never going to be, because it's not with one of your big, you're not going to see it in fast tech or, or anywhere like that, because it's just, it's not mass produced uh, to that degree. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's scary at the same time. It's terrifying to be honest, uh, but uh, yeah. I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't because of the people that I'm involved with. That, that's I'll leave it at that. Uh, so, so that'll come down the line. My God, why don't I just get to the point sometimes? Jesus, wet. Um, <laughs> in other news, in other news, um, this, this is a black rose. This is a black rose from back in the day. This is the UK edition. It was a DNA forty from. <gasps> about 2015 maybe could have been uh, and this was sent on to me by a young man called Dom now Dom sent this mod on to me because it was not working I thought I might be able to do something with it and uh, obviously I had more faith in my abilities than I do now uh, short story is that uh, basically I've got the mod and it is now a way to uh, a mod maker, um, Milo from Tech Division. And hang on till I switch this off. There we go. Uh, Milo from Tech Division. And uh, Milo is is kindly going to hopefully uh, repair the mod but put a DNA 60 into it. Uh, so that will then mean that uh, I have a Black Rose DNA 60. I also have the Black Rose number one RDA here. I'll put the two of them together and I'll do a charity raffle with them. That's the plan. And hopefully we can raise another buttload of money for charity. Uh, so Dom, thank you again. And to Milo at Tech Division, a huge thank you. He refused to take any money for the board or his time. Um, so that that is a, a huge thing for me, and and it is much appreciated. Uh, the reason uh, just going into this and uh, speaking of the charities, uh, which is this is just amazing. Uh, we are the current charity raffle, which ends. You've still got until next Saturday. You've got till Saturday coming. Uh, it's currently sitting at. It's actually currently sitting at about eighteen hundred pounds. Uh, there was two hundred pounds in it already, so it's the CCAA Kids with Arthritis, and eighteen hundred pounds raised in two days. 
I mean, that's it. it normally, it slows down now. Uh, but if we if we can get a, that two thousand um, pound, just amazing, amazing. Um, warms the cockles of my stone cold heart. <laughs> So thank you to, to everybody that's pitching in for this. Uh, also, once again, I want to say thank you to Lee. Uh, the stuff that's actually up for the charity raffle, I traded something for that gear. Uh, so I had something for the charity raffle. Uh, but uh, Lee actually sent on more than I thought he would have or knew about. So it was yeah, it was a great thing that he did. Um, amazing prizes. Um, the video is up on my YouTube channel, but you've got uh, a Limelight Wicket die codes. Uh, you've got a Limelight Arch 22 and 24, and also a vape shell. Yes. Happy Todd. I like being a happy Todd. Uh, I need something else to vape on. Let's go, here we go. Right, let's me, uh, let, let's me find words. Words just aren't working today. Uh, here's the thing there is a young man called Bob he had an enormous yes Bob is, is a man that um, uh, Ophidian vapes he used to do vape reviews um, he stays not far from me young Bob we usually meet up for a, a, a coffee every week uh, and last time we met up he, he brought me a present now those of you may or may not know uh, that one of my all day vapes for years. We were going back years, um, about five years maybe, four or five years. Is Goose Juice uh, by Quackster. It's like a custard with a hint of caramel and yes, Goose Juice. My mouth's all dry. Well, young Bob found something for me um, and gave me this. from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society over in Edinburgh and um, it's Goose Juice. It's, it's actually a, a, a bottle of whiskey called Goose Juice. And the other strange thing is that it's actually got 70-30 here as well. The, the actual, the cask number is 70-30. That, that's, what are the chances of that? So, uh, there we go. Um, I should really do the, the critical vape reviewer. That would be great. How about once a month, I drink a bottle of whiskey and then review something. Smashed out my skull. Um, I would get in so much trouble. I really would. I'd get in so much trouble. Uh, there's possibly about what I say, what comes out of here, is possibly about 10% of what's actually going on in here. Um, I've, I've, I've just... I'll come in and get it. Sorry, my wee wifey just brought me a cup of tea when I'm recording this. Um, I'm just a bit done. Uh, this was going to be a quick one. Before I go, there's one last thing I will touch on. And this goes back to how my feelings about the uh, rip and super block as well. I am aware that there are things that go on in the vape world uh, that I know about. But I don't really care about, uh, as in that uh, I just, it's none of my business. It's none of my business. Uh, so I don't get upset about it. Uh, I may have a viewpoint, but more often than not, I will not share that viewpoint for various reasons. Um, this one I will comment on because it does interest me. Um, vape reviewer, uh, basically going, going behind a paywall. Uh, now, there, there's a, a lot of flack flying about this. Um, a lot of people with lots of opinions. Basically, you have to pay to see the reviews as and when they go up. Uh, I think he puts them all up after 30 days, so they're still publicly available. You just have to wait 30 days. Um, I, I, I have no issue with that whatsoever. At all. If somebody has found a way to to make money uh, from doing this kind of thing, good for them. 
Good for them. Nobody forces anybody to hand their money over to pay for anything. Uh, it just doesn't work like that. So th this reviewer is not holding a gun to people's head and saying, give me your money or piss off. Uh, they are voluntarily handing over cash to to see his product. Good for him. Good for him. Um, I, I, yeah, I just don't get why people are getting so butthurt about it. But that's just my take on it. That That's how I see it. You know, that's how I see it. Um, how do you feel about it? I mean, how do you feel? I mean, it's something that I literally have four paying patrons and the only way to become a patron for my channel is to send me £1.23 in pennies. <laughs> I actually got this in the post. I got this. It's a it's a running joke. Um, it's a running joke in my Facebook group. Uh, I I don't do Patreon. I choose not to. I never will. Uh, I can't because the vast majority of people uh, that watch my videos, I, I know a lot of them. I've been speaking to them for years and years. Um, so how can I ask them for money? I can't ask them for money. That would just be insane. Uh, that would just that's that's not. I come from a different viewpoint. My viewpoint is different on this kind of thing. But the joke is that uh, lifetime membership, £1.23 in pennies or, or any kind of, yeah, any denominum, I need to drink that whiskey. Any cash will do. I can I can hear that word in my head. I just can't get it out of my mouth. Just, Oh, I embarrass my mum and dad so much sometimes. Um, right, so there we go. Yes, I don't have a, a, a... I mean, I have my viewpoint on the individual and what he does. Uh, but um, as far as he goes running his business, that's between him and his paying public. Um, if you don't like it, go and watch another reviewer. You should be watching more than one reviewer anyway. Um... I think the problem is, though, that a lot of people watch certain reviewers not for product reviews anymore. Uh, it, it's more un unfortunate. Can I say I don't know if I should be. Can I say this? It's not about the reviews anymore. It's, it's about the personality and um, how much of themselves do they share in the video? Uh, is it entertainment now? Is there drama? You know, it's not about the product. Uh, as such, which I think is wrong. But anyway, I'm sitting here doing this, telling you about my life. Bit of a hypocrite. Um, we'll call it, a, what's that? 33 minutes. That is about 15 minutes longer than I thought this was going to take. This is just a, just a quick little vlog. Um, I've covered everything I think I need to cover. Yes, that is about it. Um, I shall have a review up for the vampire this week. Please also don't forget that there is a charity raffle running. Uh, it's one pound for one ticket. Minimum of two, you have to buy two tickets and you could win several hundred pounds worth of vape gear if you win. Uh, thank you as always for your precious time and for sitting and keeping me company on a wet Monday. Uh, but I will now find the stop button. Uh, so from me and the young man behind me, bye for now.